In this video, I want to talk about how to find the percentage increase or decrease. So let's focus on decrease. So here I've got a uh, data about uh, teen smoking. Uh, this is in 1999 and this is in 2009. So in 10 years, we want to find what's the decrease in smoking for these each categories. So first, let's talk about Maori. The Maoris in 1999 was smoking, smoking 23.6 percent, and in 2009 it is 11.9. So in 1999 it was 23.6 percent, and in 2009 it is 11.1 percent. So 11.1 percent. So you want to find what's the uh, percentage decrease. Uh, in the smoking rate. So if you take the actual, so I'm going to explain this in two ways. So what's the actual decrease? Actual decrease in percent. So you can say the actual decrease would be this minus this. So let me get a calculator. So this is how much? 23.6. Take away 11.1. So the actual decrease is 12.5 percent. Okay, but this is not uh, the percentage decrease. This is the actual decrease. Okay, so you can say the percentage decrease, this is a formula. Percentage decrease is the actual decrease is the actual decrease divided by the original divided by the original some people like formula personally I don't like formula times it by 100 so this is how much so this is 12.5 divided by 23.6 times 100 so again let's get the calculator out so this is uh, 12 point five divided by twenty three point six times it by hundred. So it is fifty two percent decrease. The decrease in smoking in Maoris is fifty two. I'm rounding it, yeah. Or fifty three percent. Fifty two point nine you can say is fifty three fifty three percent. Now this is using a formula. Let's do without the formula. Without finding the actual decrease, how can we find? So yeah, so to find the percentage decrease, you can do like this. I'll explain the maths later. The first thing that you do is the new divided by the original. So if you divide 11.1 .1 by 23.6, what are you getting? So again, let me get my calculator out. So cancel 11.1 .1 divided by 23.6. Sorry. Cancel 11.1 .1 divided by 23.6 equal. This is 0.47. OK, so we can say this is point rounding it. This is 0.47. What does this mean? This means, let's understand what's the meaning of this number. This means, okay, so let's say this is 1999 and this is 2009. We need to understand the meaning of this answer. So what we are saying is in 1999 it was 23.6 and in 2009 it is 11.1. So this number means if in 1999 it was 1, in 2009 it is 0 0.47. This is the meaning of 0 0.47. That means if there was one person smoking in 2009, there were 0.47 people smoking. So 0.47 doesn't make sense. That means if there were 100 people in 1999 who were smoking, now there are 47 people who are smoking. That's the meaning of this 0.47. This implies 
what's the decrease? So percentage decrease is 53 percent. Percentage decrease is 53 percent. This is this gives you more understanding. So again, I'll repeat. So in 2000, in 1999, it was 23.6. Now it is 11. Uh, sorry, in 2009, it is 11.1. So if it was 1 in 1999, it was 0.47 in 2009, which implies if this is becoming 10 t 100 times bigger, this is also 100, you have to make this 100 times bigger. So that means if there were 100 in 1999 who were smoking, now there are only 47. That means there is a decrease of 53%. Okay. Uh, let me, okay, so uh, let's take one more example. Okay, so in Pacific Islanders, let me use a different color. Okay, so in 1999 and 2009. So in 1999, Pacific Islander was 16.6 percent, and now it is 6.6, 6.0, 6 sorry. So if it was one year, how much is this number? So to get this number, what we do is this divided by this. So let me drag this to this side. So 6 divided by 16.6, which is 0 0.36. So we can say if there were one in 1999 who was smoking, in 2009 it is 0 0.36. That means if there were 100, who were smokers of Pacific Islanders, there are 36 in 36 in 2009. That means, what's the decrease in smoking? That is 100 take away 36. So let me be exact. So 100 minus 36. Sorry, 100 minus 36 is 64. Am I right? 100 minus 36 is 64. So there is 64 percent decrease in smoking in Pacific Islanders. So you can do the remaining question yourself. So when you divide the the new by the original, you are what you're getting is in terms of one. So let me give you one more example to make this sense. Suppose what happened? Suppose in 1999 and say 2013 say, let us think of a different situation. In 1999, it was, say, 12.4, and in 2003, it is, say, 15.8. Okay, so let's use proportion. So 1999 and 2013. So what we are saying is, in 1999, it was 12.4, in 2013, in 2003, it is 15.8. So if it is 1 in one in 1999, this will be greater than 1. Okay, so how do you find it? So the same approach, 15.8, 15.8 divided by 12.4. Sorry, let me do it again. 15.8 divided by 12. 0.4 equals this is 1.27 so this is 1.27 rounding into two decimal that means if it is 100 in 2000 sorry 1999 it will be 127 in 2013 what is this implied you can say the percentage increase is how much percentage increase is 27 percent. The percentage increase is 27 percent. And this is what people struggle to understand. So let me give you one more example. Suppose, <coughs> say, 1999, 2009, and 2013. So let's take simple example. In, in 1999, some number was a 16 it became 20 and again it became 16 suppose so what's this increase 
So you have the same approach. This increase is how much percent? So you go 20. This is increase 20 divided by 16, which is 5 divided by 4. Am I right? Yeah, which is 1.25. So here yeah, the increase is 25 percent. I'll write plus for increase. Now from year to year, you go 16 divided by 20. This is a decrease, which is how much? 4 fifth. 4 fifth, which is how much? 0 0.8. 0 0.8 means if it was one year, it's 0 0.8. So the percentage decrease is 20%. So here, one thing you see, the actual increase and decrease is the same, but the percentage increase is different. Here, it's 25%, and here, it's 20%.